So we're taking a few measurements to get an idea of the age and the breeding condition of this bird. And how he's doing in life, basically. Uh, so I'm looking at um, how old he is, how much fat he's carrying, and whether he's in breeding condition. Um, and the, there's a string of numbers here that are all associated with those measurements. So um, we got uh, six, three, zero, zero, zero. And then we're going to take a measurement of the leg. I know. Which is 23.5. And the wing. Ninety-one, and then we're gonna take a blood sample. Ouch! Stop it. <laughs> um, so for this project, uh, are we still recording? For this project, we are. Um, you got a piece of me. Uh, we are <laughs> collecting blood uh, to look at the lead levels of these birds. This is actually one of our control sites, but we're gonna be comparing this to the Superfund site in Pueblo. Um, fortunately, we don't need a lot of blood to do that. So I'm going to take the blood from the brachial vein. Which is running right along the inside of the wing there. So we take a clean needle, shush, 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 and we do a little prick. And then you can see the blood's beating up there on his skin. Collect that with a capillary tube. And uh, we're going for about one full tube on these guys. I know, I know. Which is not that much blood. That's like a couple of drops of blood. Um, so for a bird this size, that's not actually that big of a donation. Uh, and he's not, well, no, he cooperated. So one cap, what we're actually aiming for is about 50 microliters of blood. These capillary tubes hold about 70 microliters. So if you get about that much, you're doing pretty good. And he's all done bleeding. Give him a little wipe down. And uh, then we'll weigh him, and he's good to go.